Hey guys, guys, you quality here. This is a quick one. I'm getting questions about what batteries I'm using to get the flight time that I'm getting with the Valador 6 inch. So here we go. First of all, if I'm just flying straight freestyle, I'm using RC Hackers 1300 milliamp 6S battery, and it is getting me an average of five to six minutes of flight freestyle. I think a really good option if you want long flight time, freestyle, strictly freestyle, is that I use in parallel. These two, RC Hacker, once again, 2200 milliamp batteries, 45C, and in parallel for 4400 or 4400 milliamps and 90C, because when you put the batteries in parallel, you double the C rating. So you're gonna have a 90C, 4000 milliamp battery, and it's this six inch, for some reason, it only feels like there's just a GoPro on top of it when you are using the two batteries in parallel, the 2200 RC Hackers. Um, now for going long range, I'm experimenting, and I've been using, again, once again in parallel, these GNB 2500 milliamp 6S lithium ion packs, and I tried something different the other day because if I'm gonna fly high altitude and long range, then I need to simulate that. So I flew around that mountain that you guys saw me do typically, and I was able to, to carry up out pretty much an average speed of 48 miles per hour, sometimes up to 65 for 15 minutes. And with that little device, not the device with the app, it shows me that I need to be at 50 miles an hour for nine minutes one way with no winds, which means I need 18 minutes. So these batteries will not cut it for that. So I am experimenting, that's at 3000 milliamp and only 10 C on these. This is, which is 30 amps. These are the new packs that I'm building right now. 3000 milliamp, which is gonna be run in parallel once again for long range. And hopefully I can test it out this weekend. And this company's, well, the brand is called Imron. Imron. I've already built one of the success packets, packets, the packs and I will finish this one tonight. I just have to get the balance leads on it. And it will be a total of 6,000 milliamps instead of the 5,000 milliamps. So that should hopefully get me close to or even over 20 minutes of constant flight time over 50 miles an hour. That's what I need. That's the goal before I go for six miles. So with that, and also making my GPS rescue work the way that I want it to, which I think I got it to work, it could be a possibility. And also a couple things with this O3 air unit. Uh, most of them, when you first get them, they come in CE mode. I didn't realize that until a few days ago that it was in CE mode and not FCC. So I had to do the ham hack, hack to get it back into FCC and to get more power output. I don't know why it's set up like that, but hey, that's the way it is. But you only have to do it one time and you're good to go. Uh, the weight of this quad with certain batteries By itself, and these are different props that I'm using on. I typically would use for long range these HP or HQ props. I think they're 60, 630 or something like that. And these are 632. So 495, 494. And with battery of choice for freestyle for five minutes, you're looking at 700 grams, no GoPro. That's probably why I'm getting pretty decent flight time without a GoPro. Now, 10 minutes of flight time freestyle with these bad boys in parallel. Just under a kilo. I thought it was 1100 kilos, it's just under. That's because these RC Hacker batteries, I don't know what magic that they put in them, but they make them so dense and so light and there's no exaggeration on the milliamps that they actually can take. So there's that. With the current 5,000 milliamp LiPo that I've been getting 20 minutes of cruising or 10 or 15 minutes of 50 mile an hour flight that's 1083 grams and with the new pack that I'll be experimenting with this weekend Emron packs that I'm making that is going to be <laughs> over a kilo one 1100 grams exact so all right guys, that's what I have for you now. If you have any questions on the batteries that I use, that is what I use for the six inch. I'm really digging this thing. I love the way it handles. It's such a sturdy and strong frame. 
Yeah, and the price is, is right. And the quality that you get for this bad boy, like I said, I mean, it, it is just solid. A so I don't know what Volador did, their new company, but they're kicking some tail out there. So do recommend at least trying one of these builds on your own. All right, guys, that's what I got for now. Sky Tukwadi, sign out.